Hey everybody, this is Sandy from Sandy's Creative Connection here with a short video on a new product we have in the catalog called the Big Shot Embossing Mats, a must-have. So here is the embossing mat in person. How it comes is you have three items. You have a white plastic plate, you have a blue thin mat, and you have a gray mat which is thicker much thicker when you compare it to the blue mat. So why, I ask myself, why is this a needed item for your craft room? So here is a project using the thinlet with the embossing mat. I've taken this piece out of the stained glass and normally it cut completely through the cardstock, but using that mat created that beautiful design on the back of the card. So let me show you. Here's a piece out of the stained glass thinlet. I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to just cut it as you normally would use a thinlet. You have your platform, then you have the thinlet adapter, and then I have a clear plate and the paper, the thinlet, the paper, and the clear plate on top. This is how you standardly cut a thinlet. So out comes the thinlet. And you see that it's cut it all the way through. You get this beautiful thin piece cut with precision. Okay, so let's now take and use the embossing mat and compare them. So I'm removing the thin lid adapter. I'm using, putting down the platform, Big Shot platform, one clear acrylic plate that comes with the Big Shot. Take your thin lid Place it upside down or facing up. Take your piece of cardstock, lay it on top of the thinlet, and then your blue mat. Okay, so I've laid the blue mat down. And then we're gonna take the white plate that came with the embossing mats. And we're just gonna, that's, we're gonna run that through. And it's gonna feel like it's not doing anything until it hits the framelet. Thinlet, sorry. And so let's see what we got coming out the other end. We have a nice deep impression. So now let's try it with the gray. So it's going to be the same setup doing the gray. You're going to have your platform, your clear plate, you're going to put your framelet down upside down because you're cutting up your paper you're not cutting you're embossing up um, and then we're going to put the gray down after the gray comes the white plate let's see what we have we have is a much deeper impression uh, you probably can't tell this on the from the video but this one with the gray is much much deeper the directions that come with the big shot embossing mat tells us that the gray mat should be used for the thinlets that emboss and cut well, thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to post your questions below and I will get back to you. Have a great day.